Ozwatini is a remote rural community situated in the midlands of KwaZulu-Natal. Like many tribal areas in South Africa, infrastructure is limited, job opportunities are almost non-existent, and it is far removed from the public eye in a forgotten corner of the country. But there is good soil, water and sunshine, and hard-working people bound to the land and each other with a vibrant culture. The people of Oswatini have access to communal land to keep livestock and grow vegetables on small plots between their homesteads. They have a measure of food security and are able to sell any surplus to local markets. Another vegetable in garden, one home, one garden. Oh, Ugusa, see a good car. Uxala, we sub dies. Beseger good ticket in King Agbe, Luane, Ezilla, Ugusa, Liz Ascend. Got a car, Yak Tola, Gonu, with a number of Gunja. I would is a pet. Their impact on the environment is minimal. The landscape is productive resilient and sustainable, and the people are able to live on their ancestral land in tune with their traditions and customs. Small blocks of forestry between the vegetable gardens provide material for fencing, home building, and firewood, plus a cash boost from the sale of bark and timber at harvest time. <laughs> Engelutonji <laughs> But life in Oswatini has its hardships. It is remote, terrain is steep, roads are poor, and access to some of the necessities of modern life is limited. Most of the students will leave this area due to the challenges that we are facing in this area as a disadvantaged yes, community. Most of them believe that the life is better in urban areas and the opportunities are better in urban areas. But the source of agriculture is here. And we all know that the natural resource that is soil or that is land is the one that makes all of us live and that sustains all the communities. This is a natural resource that is very important if you can manage or utilize it effectively, uh, it, it, can, it can retain that favor to us. In stark contrast, the large, privately owned commercial farms around Oswatini are part of a different economy and land use model. They practice monoculture agriculture, mainly sugar and timber, replacing 90% of the natural habitat with their crops. These farmers have access to finance, markets, technology, and infrastructure, enjoying the benefits of participation in a modern economy. Their operations are becoming increasingly mechanized, thus limiting the job opportunities that they sustain. So why then are the rural communities like Oswatini, where the landscape supports many people, left to struggle on the fringes of the economy? with inadequate government support and poor infrastructure. 
Why do global certification schemes find it easy to certify the monocultures as sustainable, while they are unable to certify areas like Oswatini? When will the powers that be recognize that places like Oswatini offer solutions to many of the problems facing Africa? Yeah, at Oswatin we've got two main projects. The first one is re-establishing old forestry areas. We work with the farmers in the sense that um, we advise them on the possible options that they can plant, the possible markets, um, what to do uh, in terms of how to take care of the agricultural produce, as well as um, the right time to harvest, as well as the right time to plant. Oh, part of the um, support that we give to our farmers, uh, both uh, on agriculture and forestry, is trainings. It's been quite encouraging to see the results of the hard work that we've put over the past year. Um, we've seen people that previously um, had not so good quality uh, vegetable production. This year they were able to make a substantial, um, substantial amounts through their yields, through their harvesting. And then on the forestry side, um, We've seen quite a, a fair bit of area being re-established. We may have a need of assisting young stars in terms of training them about the land, how to work the land, how to manage the land at the same time. Or, or if we are doing that, we're grooming them. I will be an agriculture no matter what, because I won't leave this place because I see the potential on it. So I'm going to use it for planting it as well, or those stuff, slow by slow, I think. Maybe God will be the one who will help me to reach my dream to come through. Project Oswatini is about exploring the kind of support and interventions necessary to maintain and strengthen this way of life in the rural areas of South Africa. By improving agricultural practice and market access and empowering people to take advantage of the opportunities available. It is also about learning lessons from a sustainable land use model that has evolved and survived intact over many, many generations and will continue to serve its people into the future. Oh